Thank you. It is a good question. <clears throat> Many people ask. Now, some people maintain the life by putting tube here, tube here, tube here, tube here. <laughs> so when you remove these things, that person can survive, die instantly. Whether it is by doing that, do they create any bad karma, knowing that he died when he, they remove these things? Another thing that recently they practice in Australia, euthanasia. The patient go and request the doctor to take away his life. He requests. They have done. But after that they realize this is very dangerous. Human mind is such they can misuse. Anything in this world they can misuse. Therefore they have withdrawn this one. Karma we create not by action. Action alone cannot create karma. Ketanahang bhikkhave kammang vadami. Our ketana. Ketana means intention. We must do things intentionally. Either kindness, compassion, sympathy, or cruelty, wicked, and what you call dangerous, harmful thing. You may do a lot of things that which create karma, but they are neither good karma nor bad karma, neutral. Because you did not create that idea in your mind, that you want to do that. But action, when you're driving your motor car, how many kills, cats and dogs and some others you may kill. But you never create any bad karma because you never think that you want to kill them while, <laughs> while driving. Therefore, you are completely free. But here, person who is going to die, by force, we hold on this by putting all sort of tube. When everybody comes to know that this person can survive, then they request, why not we remove the thing and to get have the end of it? They do not create any idea in their mind that they want to kill this person. But they know this person's life depart from here when they do that. So that action cannot create bad karma. Death means departure of life. This body is not our life. This is the house. Our life lives in this house. But in some other world system, life can exist without a shelter, without a body. But in this part of the universe, life cannot exist without a shelter or body. So when the house is getting decaying and decaying and decaying and rotten and rotten and collapsed, the life goes away. That is called death. No one can kill a life. Life never die, please remember. Life never die. There is nothing to die in the life, it is an energy. No one can see a life. No one can see a mind. But they exist. So, if the rotten house is collapsed, what is the use of staying there? <laughs> Go away and build another new one. Uh, that is called rebirth. Buddha says very clearly this. Vinyanam matukuchisming okkam. That departed consciousness with avidya, trishna, karma, upadana, bhava, with these five 
mental ingredients in the mind. That is life. Therefore, we cannot get the real meaning of the word used by the Buddha, vijnana. That vijnana depart from here, life is there. Therefore, life never dies. So why do we worry when it is rotten? Better to kick it out and go and build another new house. <laughs> by force, we are holding it, keeping for nothing, to suffer more. Many people can understand. Whole day and night, suffering, suffering, physically and mentally. Still they want to leave. For what purpose? <laughs> I really can understand. When your passport is expired, my dear friend, <laughs> you had to renew the passport. 